Just like after Tuesday, even the calendar says WTF. Royal Caribbean cruisers are probably thinking the same thing as the cruise line quietly started hiking prices at one of their a la carte venues by over 40%. Oh, and by the way, mom, WTF means when's the Friday. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. I'm your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's what I gotta say to Royal Caribbean for having the cojones, the huevos, the footballs to raise prices by 40% or more quietly in one of their onboard eateries this week, despite just receiving a massive amount of flack online over potentially pay for play pizza that was only like a buck or two. Did they not learn anything? And is the internet going to respond in the same way? Well, let's talk about this. Cruise passengers on recent sailings on board Oasis of the Seas have begun reporting strange pricing and major increased pricing at one onboard eatery. In particular, we're talking about the Portside Barbecue. Now, Portside, it's a specialty restaurant on board Oasis of the Seas, and I believe you can also find it on board Allure of the Seas. Now, we're not gonna get too much into the weeds about specific pricing on a specific ship that you're probably not cruising on right away, but we're gonna bring this back to sort of the overarching, how this affects you as a cruiser and how things might improve one day and a way that cruise lines could very much improve that. So let's get right into it. Portside Barbecue Joint, you're gonna find it on a couple of Royal Caribbean ships. It's an a la carte venue. Now, arguably their most popular dish, it's their signature combo. Usually it costs you 12 50 up to 16 bucks, depending on what you get. Well now, after price increases, after a 30 to 40 to 50% increase on menu items, that same meal that was 12.50, it's now 17 bucks. That same meal that was 16 bucks is now over $22. This is the price change that we are up against. And this is all against the backdrop of Royal Caribbean just last week being assaulted on all sides from journalists, social media personalities, you assaulting them on all sides about this stupid, we want to charge you for pizza thing. So much so that their CEO, Michael Bailey, came out and had to make a public post backtracking on this. Oh no, we've learned our lesson. We would never do such a thing. Well, guess what, Michael? You're doing that thing you said, oh no, we're not going to do right now on Oasis of the Seas. Now, I don't know about you. I don't love to be nickel and dimed. I don't love to be told, oh yeah, that water that Carnival used to charge $5 for, well, that's now 10. I don't like to know about that. As a matter of fact, I don't like that so much that I would rather the cruise lines roll a few extra bucks into the cruise fare now on the front end that I'm not gonna notice, if you will. Most of us are booking cruises somewhere in the neighborhood of $700 to $1,800. That's sort of the sweet spot of midships cruisers. And that, that's a per person cost. If your $1,400 cruise suddenly cost $1,464, you're not walking away from that cruise because of that increase. But if your cruise line that you're continually cruising with is suddenly getting you on board your ship and something that cost $2 last year is $5 now, you're gonna start noticing that. That's gonna start adding up and it's gonna start hitting you in the back of your mind. And the last thing any cruise line wants is for you to have in the back of your mind, dang, this cruise line is really nickel and diming me on this experience. It's taking away from an otherwise awesome cruise. And that's what really is the overarching thing here that this whole episode revolves around. The lesson that these cruise lines really need to learn and take away from this is to address the inflation on the front end, address it when we're paying our bill. Most people, they're putting their cruises on a credit card that they're gonna pay for monthly. They're paying cash for it, or they're gonna pay for it with the cruise lines monthly or quarterly payment options. Regardless, like I said earlier, you're not going to notice that 40 or $60 upcharge in your cruise fare if you're paying it that way. But if you're on board and you're buying things a la carte, you darn well are gonna be noticing it. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Do you think I'm a bomber that's right over the target or do you think I am the crazy guy on the internet today? Make sure you get subscribed to the channel for more Midships episodes coming out soon. 
right to your face, as Tony would say. Speaking of Tony, happy birthday, man. I heard it's your big day. Run on over to Tony and wish him a happy birthday and tell him Corey sent you, Midships sent you over there. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button if you wish we weren't being nickel and dimed to the end of the moon and back on our cruises. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, we'll see you on the Midships. Thank you.